how you, and I know this as a parent, you know, how you as a family sort of tackle, you know, putting your son or daughter through school and how you're going to afford it and wanting the, to give them the choice but realizing there's uh, big differences. Uh, it's, and as you know, uh, there's a whole variety of things that go into what you actually will pay in the end. There's your tuition, your fees, and, and uh, room and board, but then there's also on the aid side, there's various forms of scholarship, uh, grants, uh, loans, and you end up putting together a, a package. Uh, I think the loan piece is actually a national problem, uh, and that's why I think it's being driven in a national uh, piece. Uh, What's, what I find interesting is that uh, the, the debt burden for education is, is felt so much more acutely than other forms of debt we carry. Look at housing, cars, and other things. Um, and I think one of the reasons for that is that from a, a loan perspective, it's kind of an unsecured loan, right? There's no collateral, right? And so, and you end up having to pay for it right away. As soon as you're borrowing, the repayment sort of starts even though you're actually, so you're kind of borrowing while you're spending and you get into this very strange dynamic that is so atypical of the other ways we experience loan. You know, if you buy a house, you're enjoying the house while you're paying the mortgage. If you buy the car, you have the car and it's secured in your... So one of the interesting dilemmas we're gonna have to face, um, and I don't think it's just Pitt, I think this is kind of a national look, is how do we, uh, we know this is high value. We know that most students pay back their loans. We know that uh, the country wins much more when more of our population is educated. So it's of great value, but you're paying for something now, uh, and yet the value is going to accrue down the road. And that's what's different from other types of borrowing, where you get the benefit right away. And so one of the questions is how do we, um, you know, how do you measure risk in that environment? How, would, how do you look at, you know, uh, how do you pay it back and how do you tie it to the fact that um, you know the earnings uh, potential of somebody as they enter the job market is going to vary that you know there's still growth happening there so we'll jump in and uh, work on those issues but within the university what we really have to do is make sure that value is there uh, that students uh, can make decisions and graduate in a timely way with a high quality degree and that they're getting jobs. Uh, 